Hello, my name is Lisa Ashton and firstly I'd like to apologise for the lack of creativity in today's video. My phone is broken and I don't have a camera to film on, so my laptop it is. Now that that's out of the way, um, today I'm going to be talking about the Internet of Things, or as some people nowadays call it, the Internet of Everything. This topic contains a whole lot of scary and thought-provoking stuff and it really highlights how the internet and technology is changing the world for better or for worse depending on how things go in the future and how my generation chooses to create, develop and put it to use. So the internet of things or everything if you'd like to call it that is basically about devices that are interconnected by the internet which have the capability to send as well as receive data. A lady called Donna Hoffman also highlighted three very important aspects of the Internet of Things. Um, she said she talks about smart people, smart products and smart places and basically the Internet of Things is all about connecting up the dots between those three things. While this may sound pretty straightforward and simple, I can guarantee you it is not. It essentially can be applied to everything, hence the emerging popularity of the saying the internet of everything rather than things. As the human race develops, we have been becoming increasingly lazy. We want things instantaneously and no one wants to wait around anymore. Which is where IoT, the internet of things, comes into play. So, Jara, Para and Skarmeta claims that the objective of the Internet of Things is to decrease the distance between platforms available on the Internet and physical objects. It aims to facilitate and simplify the customer's interactions with the product, which basically highlights our laziness and our want to do things with as little effort as required. Um, so the opportunities that interconnecting devices via the internet gives businesses is basically endless. Um, the amount of data that can be collected from such devices can provide businesses with information that the consumer didn't even know that they were giving out. As consumers are becoming increasingly connected, they are leaving a trail of their interactions with businesses behind them. This information could be things such as what time you wake up in the morning by using a coffee machine that starts up when you wake up. Um, or what time you get home because you could turn on your heat pump from your car on the way home from work. So there are semi-simple items such as these which have been created and are fully functional and being used in consumers' lives as we speak. However, the business world is a highly competitive industry and you'll find that everyone basically in the industry is always trying to one-up each other as consumers are always looking for the latest and greatest products that are going to make their lives just that much easier. But here's where things get a little bit more complex. Large corporations such as Amazon are coming out with products such as Alexa, which has raised a lot of controversy, especially in terms of safety and security. Alexa has been described as an intelligent personal assistant, although Alexa has been created to perform tasks that seem useful in everyday in people's everyday lives. Um, its ability to recognise voices and talk back to them means that the device is sending and receiving a whole bunch of data, including some things that some people might not want others to hear. The data would basically be all sent to Amazon, who have the power to store it and do what they want with it, which hopefully would just be to send back down the appropriate response, but you would really have to read the T's and C's very closely to see what they do with that information that you provide them with. Um, businesses such as Amazon have the opportunity to utilise large amounts of data produced by their consumers to help understand them better and therefore develop and optimise products and services for them, which is called invisible analytics. If businesses have access to this information, it means they are able to convert the data into meaningful innovation and insights as a basis for better business decisions and can give a business a huge competitive advantage. Um, so we as marketers hold a lot of power in the way that we choose how consumers see 
these new products and services. Um, so with the ever-growing availability of data, we are able to find out information about consumers that we'd never known before or had access to, um, all thanks to the Internet of Things. It is up to us to market ethically, um, ethically correct items and to be as safe and secure with the information we are able to access as much as possible. If consumers know that they can trust a business with their information, then brand loyalty will be developed and a, com a competitive advantage will be created as well. It is also up to us to market ethically correct products and services. We don't want to be creating things such as smart toys for kids that can speak back to children and have someone hack into that and say inappropriate things, as the speaker in class, Stefan, spoke about. Um, so the future is really in our hands as marketers to help create products and services that are going to change the lives of consumers for the better and not put them at any risk of being unsafe and not secure, basically. Thank you.